Last week, Aru County MP Odongaoto launched his new book which takes a critical look at fellow legislators and their conduct in parliament. He accuses them of taking bribes. We have personally been involved in getting bribes. NTV sought MP's views on whether what Oto writes in the book is a true reflection on the ground. Where I am not even interested in reading that trash, I am not going to buy even his book. It is not worth reading. What Oto writes about or publicizes is actually true. We have seen very many members changing sides. Of course, money, money, physical cash, we have seen money exchanging hands here. Honorable Oto's book is spot on. It indicates that there is corruption. But that does not say that actually all MPs or this institution is corrupt. Believe it or not, there are at times compromising. MPs are compromised. It is true, there are some people who are influenced, who are compromised. And I have not seen any member of parliament being involved in taking bribes. So it is outrageous for a honorable member of parliament in the caribou of Oto, eh, a lawyer, who recently was put to task to explain when he alleged that some members uh, uh, had, had uh, uh, taken money. He did not have evidence. He started sweating profusely on the floor of the house. I would cut this parliament by almost 50 percent because the majority of them are actually redundant. Secondly, I would raise the level of qualifications of members of parliament. The minimum should be a university level, really. And if you are to put that, I'm sure you'll have taken off 40 percent of the present MPs. Otto's book raises queries on how lawmakers in the 7th parliament allegedly received 5 million shillings each to lift presidential term limits. One MP, Beatrice Biencha, having realized that the 5 million shillings was for Kisanja, she returned the money. At the end of the day, whether people like it or not, it was a bribe as far as I was concerned. It was a bribe and I saw it was going to compromise my testimony as a Christian. There was need to amend the constitution and open the term. The book also highlights how MPs have allegedly been conned after offering huge sums of money hoping to buy their way into the cabinet. They also approached me one time. I almost arrested some of them.